Hey, welcome back to the Fat Guys Drinking. George Sean here with Will. Big Fat Will, the spicy Cuban lover. <laughs> and we are drinking beers from Clown Shoes. We will start with this Mango American Kolsch. We'll move on to this Baked Goods, a Hoppy Pale Ale. Then to the Zen Garden, a New England style IPA. And then end with Space Cake, a double IPA. All right, let's open up this Mango American Kolsch. This is a cool can. Yeah. It's like the Mad Hatter or something. Yeah. Mad Hatter beats Uncle Sam. Yeah. All right. Very clear. Yeah, nice kind of almost uh, yellow amber, a little amberish almost, which is kind of out, well, yeah, kind of outside the style for Kolsch, but you know, it's an American Kolsch, so. Okay, mm -hmm. um, I smell a little of the fruit. I can, I can smell. Is it a hint smell. of salty? Maybe, but I mean, it's definitely a little fruit, but it's a very light one. Yeah. A nice, light kind of crisp beer smell, like I'd call generic beer number one behind it. Yeah. All right, so a cold style should be really, really, really delicate. Uh, should be very crisp, very light, easy drinking. Mm -hmm. um, like a craft light beer almost, you know? Yeah. It may be the mango that's been put in here, but this comes across more just like a light beer. So it doesn't feel delicate. It feels yeah, it doesn't a little hardier. Yeah, it doesn't feel delicate or crisp. And I, no. honestly, I don't... Do you taste the mango? Mm -mm. Me neither. I don't taste the mango at all. I, what I taste is a malty light beer. Um, and again, a Kolsch isn't necessarily light either. That's the thing. It's just a delicate, crisp beer. Um, made in, uh, the style comes from Cologne, Germany. And um, it's just um, it's just an easy beer to drink in the heat or anything like that. Uh, I'd say the true summer beer, essentially. Yeah. Um, this, again, comes across as kind of a malty night beer. I don't taste that mango. I smelled it a little. Yeah, a you know, little bit. I mean, real slight hint. Um, this isn't horrible. This, again, would be a great beer in, like, a hot baseball game. Yeah, it's just slightly heavier than I expected. But I think that's why I think I would like it at a hot baseball game, because I never am cra craving a Miller Lite. I've never craved a Miller Lite in my life. And I think this gives you the opportunity to have what's a slightly heavier be uh, light beer. Yeah. But it has to be hot. You have to be up in the third tier, you know, the upper decks, yeah. you know, right? Because um, I wouldn't even drink this on the beach, you know, like it just, oh, no. you know, right? So yeah. it's again, that, that heavy weirdness and again, you're looking for something a little bit better there. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't buy it. I probably wouldn't drink it again. I mean, it's not a bad beer, but it's not something that I would, like, I would see on tap and say, give me that one. Yeah. And it's not a light beer. It's 5.5%. So that's the aspect that again, like, it is this, light. What are you, a girl? <laughs> Ladies can drink beer of quantity as well, but nonetheless, um, you know, if you're talking about like a Miller Lite or a Bud Light, which is at 3.5%, yeah. it's not a light beer, it's a regular kind of lager. So I guess what I'm saying is this feels like it's a multi lager, uh, not a Kolsch. So I, <clears throat> I, I would say American Kolsch is probably a misnomer here, and it's probably more appropriate to just call it lager, American yeah. lager. Yeah, I agree. Right, beer one down. Cheers. All right, and now we're gonna start with this Baked Goods Hoppy Pale Ale. I have high hopes for this one. I assume this is a pot-related reference. This looks... Baked goods? 
Yeah, he's doing a full hoverboard Marty McFly while grabbing onto some sort of Star Wars character. No, this is like a, what do they call those things? Moles? Like the monster mole from hell. Okay, I think we're getting off topic here. Okay, there's <laughs> Marty McFly. And there's the weird monster mole. Anyway. All right, All right so, well, it's a little hazy, yellow. Yeah. This is probably, again, the clearness was good for the Kolsch, but this is probably the color you'd expect, but again, with the clearness, it would be very easy to see through, so. Yeah. All right, so, mm. what is that? I think this one was a bit more fruity than the other one. Yeah, it's, it's slightly fruity, but it's also got, um, it's got an earthiness to it. Maybe a light dankness. I don't want to say dank, I'd say earthy, but. Not a dankness. Maybe. Mm. Oh, wow. That's a very dank taste, though. Yes. That it's was a dank wrong. dank taste. Huh. Shame on me. Yeah, no, uh, first thing. And again, it's it's a dank, watery taste to me. Yeah. So dank first, then a little watery, because it's not clingy, it's not hanging out of my mouth, it's gone as soon as I... Yeah, that is true. It, it hits you with the solid, like, hops, and then goes away. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure that's what they're going for, the baked goods, the whole picture. Yeah. The dankness is what people are looking for. I mean, it's not like, what is it, the G19 or something from... Yeah, uh, from Sweetwater. Yeah. Yeah. That's obvious in your face, that way it hangs around, too. Yeah, the second you... Bring it up. Uh, you can even smell it in the yeah. glass from there. I mean, it's this. Yeah. You kind of smell it, then you taste it, and then you swallow, and it's gone. Yeah. I mean, I I think that they did it better than sweet water in that aspect. Well, it's drinkable. Yeah, like, because sweet water is just like in your face the whole time. Yeah, and it, it, that's a uh, I don't know, like a statement beer where you're just trying to prove a point. You get it right. It's done. This is a drinkable beer. Again, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it. But yeah. I think it's drinkable, and if you're just hanging out, it's fine. Yeah, if somebody brought a series of these, I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't refuse it. I wouldn't, I mean. Yeah, I mean, if I, if I was at a bar and I saw this, and I ordered it just because I'd never heard of it before, I, I wouldn't say, you know, this is uh, this is a bad beer. Yeah, I wouldn't, I, be, I wouldn't be disappointed. Yeah. Say, oh, my God. What a, yeah, I mean, I, I would enjoy it. I just wouldn't buy a six-pack of it. Very first statement. Yeah. All right, now on to the Zen Garden in New England idea. Yeah. Are those supposed to be shoes? Oh, the shoes. shoes! Okay, we. <laughs> You might want to zoom in on that and explain it. <laughs> yeah, we thought they were cherries at first, but... Yeah, no, there's a Grim Reaper with clown cheese on. Playing a piano, isn't it? Something like that. Oh, no, tending his garden. Okay. I'm tending his Zen garden. It all makes sense. It's pulling together now. This is a very realistic kid. Yeah. Okay. All right. Appropriately hazy kind of orange. That's New England style, so yeah. not a surprise. And has a nice fruity, strong aroma. Yeah. Hmm. It has a bitter. Yeah, it's juicy, bitter, and a little dank. Maybe no, no. It's it's that pith again. That, that, yeah, that white yeah. orange pit. The, the Joe always talks about yeah, it. Yeah, all the time. And he's totally right. Now we're saying it probably more than he at this point. Yeah. But he's absolutely right. Because it's, it's the juiciness that hits first, then there's a bitterness, and then there's that dry kind yeah. of pith taste. Exactly. I don't know if this makes it more drinkable or less drinkable. Because as I drink it, it's not strong enough to overwhelm me as a flavor. Like, I'm not like, oh, this is super good, right? Or super strong. But for me, I would say less drinkable just because the pith is the aftertaste. And so it, it, it leaves you with that 
Yeah. And it lingers too. Yeah. It's and, not going away. Yeah, and so if it, if, if it hit you in the beginning and then, you know, cleared out very quickly, then this would be very drinkable. But this, like, it, it leaves that taste on your tongue and it's yeah. like, eh. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is New England style. So, I mean, they're hitting what they're aiming for. But at the end of the day, I think you're right, which is this is not a beer for me to order again. Yeah. I mean, like we said in the last one, I mean, if if this was something interesting at a bar and I saw it, I would, I would order it and I'd say, okay, this was good, but I definitely wouldn't yeah. order it again. That's true. I would not return this beer saying this is a bad beer. I just wouldn't order it for a second round. Okay, okay. I wouldn't say this is good. I would say this is interesting. Yeah. But I wouldn't order it again. I mean, just Fair statement. That. Yeah. Fair statement. Interesting, but I wouldn't order it again. But I like the can. Somebody, I mean, I, I'd like to know more. If you know anything about clown shoes, I'd like to know more about their artistry. Some, uh, is this something they do in-house? Do they market this out? Do they find the picture and buy the rights and then make the beer? Because this is kind of cool stuff. I mean, all three of these cans have been you know, really interesting. Yeah. But somebody had to draw this out, paint it, color it, and then they had to decide to put it on a can. So Agreed. Yeah. I, I'd like to know more about that. Because that, again, I've seen clown shoes before. I just can't say I've had a tasting of it before. I probably have one or two of them in the past. I just can't distinct. Which actually is a very good description of this is, had we not been documenting this on yeah, video. You, you never remember it. I wouldn't remember this. This, this is not a memorable beer. Yeah. Yeah. It's not offensive enough to say, forget it. It's not great enough that you go, wow, remember that time we had that clone shoes, yeah. right? And the same is, like I said, the mango one was the same, the uh, baked goods was the same so far. I don't, wanna, I don't have high hopes for the next one, but I want to have high hopes because I want to end it on a really strong, great beer. I really oh. do. Oops. Independent yeah. craft is important, you know? Yeah. Well, let's hope for the best. Cheers. Space cake, double my cake. <laughs> <laughs>
this a robot? <laughs> is this a robot dog? It's a robot dog. Or an alien dog. So yeah, no, I, I, I think that they brewed this together and someone was like, okay, yeah, you know, it tastes like a rum cake or something like that. And just keeping in with the others that we have, they're like, oh, no, this is, it's called a space cake. <laughs> All right, so out of this tasting, this is a rough one uh, for yeah. me to choose. And by the way, apparently my Swedish wife says that it's manga because it has little dots. So I don't know if this is some weird uh, tsunami thing. Yeah, right? Is that what it's called? No. The hell is tsunami then? It's it's not manga. It's you know, look. If somebody yeah. can school us on manga, that'd be helpful. I'm sure a few of you guys know what that is. Um, out of this whole thing. I think this one was the most drinkable. This one was a little rough. This one was the most complex and interesting. And this one was okay. I, I'd say this one was the most interesting. This one most drinkable. This one was too. Even with that rough kind of like, you know, hanging kind of pith. You know? Well, but this one had, I'm not a, a fan for like a strong dank taste, mm -hmm. and this one had the, so even with the pit, yeah, I was, I was fine with that, but I, I would say this manga would be my my last one. I'll, I'll modify my, my description. This was the least offensive. Eh, which one was less offensive? I don't know. Like, I, but between the, these two were very similar. This one was cleaner. This one was more dank, and I, True. I, I just, I, I liked this one more for the being cleaner. But um, yeah, that, that's just my two cents. Well, Tom Shoes, uh, I know you have a quite the repertoire of additional beers to try, so we'll probably run into you again, but. Uh, maybe maybe some positive experiences there. And if you want to hear more about uh, Big Fat Will's Cuban Adventures, just let us know. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up and drink on. Cheers. <laughs>